as a prosecutor, why do you care? The more numbers, you, more people you lock up, that looks better for you as a prosecutor. You know, that's a, that's a great question. And the answer is, we're supposed to care about justice. We're supposed to care about fairness. We're supposed to care about equality. This is a institution that has the capacity to take our liberty interests away. This is an institution that has the power to make a generational impact on a family's progression. This is an institution that can turn your life of normalcy upside down. So there's incredible power that this institution has. And the measure of justice is the proportionality of punishment. And nobody should be punished because based on their color of their skin or the status of their mental illness or physical need that they may have. It is about public safety and, and fairness. So every prosecutor has to care about that. If we just simply get seduced by the numbers of incarceration and that's how we measure justice, that's a very weak and very poor explanation of what justice is supposed to mean, at least for this prosecutor. It, it, that's not what it's supposed to mean. And why do you implement, you, why do you work so hard to do restorative justice kind of issues sure. and implement those kind of you know, works? Okay, well, first of all, restorative justice means different things to different people. So for me, restorative justice means that when crime happens, it causes injury to victims, offenders, and the communities in which crime occurs. Justice, then, is the repairing of all those injuries, right? Not only to make sure that the victim is taken care of, now, and the, the community where the crime occurs, right? And also means the offender is rehabilitated. Our entire notion of criminal justice system is based on taking accountability, paying your sort of obligation through that accountability, and then returning back into society. It is the reintegration and, reintroduc and reintroduction back to society that we have to care about. When I take you and lock you up, and I don't address your underlying addiction or mental illness, you're going to come out uh, ill-prepared and you're going to cycle back through. And in that process, all of us are going to be asked to pay the financial bill on that. So, it, it, so it's an expenditure without the return on investment that we want, and it also gives us uh, outcomes that are, are not consistent with our ideals. So that's why I care about it as a public prosecutor, right? That is why it's not something I care about as a public prosecutor, but you as a citizen should care about. Uh, how do you want your fellow citizens to be treated? Do you want intergenerational poverty to be passed down from one family to the next family because of the way we institutionally treat them? Or do you want a better return on investment for the tax dollar you're obligated to spend where you're not getting the results you want in terms of outcomes, and you're certainly not getting results that you want in the sense of justice. And I think when I start talking about it in those terms, it's not just a prosecution issue at that point, it becomes a community issue, and it becomes a, a, a electoral issue where we all should be concerned.